Hey everybody, this is Chad Criswell from musicedmagic.com here to tell you a little bit about another one of the little devices that I found on the showroom floor at the Midwest Clinic last month. I've been kind of putting this one off uh, because I wanted to actually have one in the hand in order to show it to you. Still don't have it, but it's on order. It's supposed to be here soon, so uh, as soon as it comes in I'm going to do a, an official review after trying it out with my kids at school for a couple of weeks. But what I want to talk to you about right now is called the Lung Trainer. Now, if you've never seen this before, if you've never heard of it before, it may look a little bit familiar when you first see it. This is what it looks like. It is a, an acrylic tube that has some weights in it. Now, you may think that this is the same thing as one of those old ping pong ball breath builders that you've seen before and that you may have even used when you were in college or, or when you were learning your instrument. You know, the breath builders, they've got the ping pong ball, they've got a piece of plastic tubing, and they've got a couple of tubes that come with it that are supposed to let you adjust the resistance to make them, you know, easier or harder to blow into. But no matter what you do, they don't really simulate what it's like to really blow into an instrument. Blowing on a ping pong ball just isn't the same as the kind of resistance that you get when you're really blowing into a trumpet or when you're blowing into an oboe or anything like that. It, it's not the same. So what Lung Trainers is doing is they've got weights, actual metal weights, inside this acrylic tube. There is a stop up here that you screw in and you can, you can take that out to add more weights or, or take the weights out. But you put in the amount that you want uh, put the stopper back into it, and then you blow into the mouthpiece over here. Now, it's not a normal trumpet mouthpiece or anything like that. It's just a solid block of copper uh, with a hole in it, obviously. And you're going to blow through that little mouthpiece as if you're blowing into your instrument. And it's, it's pretty similar in size to, you know, the the shank of, of a trumpet mouthpiece or the blowhole on a blowhole, the tone hole on a flute. Don't, don't yell at me. Um, but it's also got three little holes in the handpiece here that let you further adjust the amount of resistance. Uh, so basically you blow into the mouthpiece and you make the weights go up. But it feels so much more realistic when you're blowing through it than it does with one of those ping pong ball things. Um, and the reason is that it's well, here's, here's why I'm interested in it, okay? I teach fifth grade beginning band. With my beginners, the hardest thing that I have problems with with my kids is getting them to use enough air. Now, some of them, they're just naturals, all right? But a lot of the kids, you know, especially in fifth grade, they're timid, they're shy, they're scared that they're going to do it wrong, they're scared of making a big, loud, noisy splat, you know, whatever. And so they back off. They're, they don't use enough air. And I can... You know, I've got all the tricks in the book to get them to blow blow harder. You know, I'll take them over to the wall and I'll take a piece of paper and I'll make them hold the paper up against the wall and then blow against it and try and keep the paper on the wall. Okay, fine. But that's still not realistic, all right? That's not the way it feels when you blow into the instrument. With this thing, you blow into that mouthpiece and it actually does feel like you're blowing into an instrument and you can adjust it to make it feel like an oboe you can adjust to make it to feel like a, a trumpet's resistance or a tuba's resistance or a flute's resistance okay you can set it however you want to but the whole point is it's a visual representation they can see that they're doing it right when that weight hits the top of the of the chamber and they can feel what it feels like to actually be doing it the right way and to be blowing with the right amount of air. Now, when you order these things, they're all special ordered. They aren't, they don't have a supply of them. They make them at request, okay? And they don't normally come with this cord tuner that's on here. Um, I'm sure you can get that as an add-on if you want to, but it doesn't come with it. Uh, you know, clear acrylic case, it comes attached to this board. It's a, a piece of plexiglass, colored plexiglass. You can pick the color that you want to match your school colors or whatever. Um, and if you want to, you can have magnets put on it 
Um, I ordered mine with magnets because I have metal music stands, Manhasset music stands. So this thing will magnetize right onto the music stand and stay there and I don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, in the videos over here, uh, I'll just let this kind of play in the background here while I talk, you're going to see that in some of these photos they haven't mounted to the wall. Okay, and what one of the teachers that uses this does is they've got it mounted to the wall as they come into the classroom and as they come into the classroom they're supposed to blow into it and uh, and do it. Now here you're gonna see uh, the student doing it and you'll notice this is an older model because it doesn't have the copper mouthpiece and it's it doesn't have the copper and, and metal fittings on it but it's you know she's having to work at it in order to keep it up there so you know, that's the lung trainer and I'm really looking forward to trying it out and I'll let you know what I think. I'll be honest, it's not an incredibly cheap piece of equipment. Um, if you think you're gonna be able to get it for 20 bucks, you're wrong. <laughs> it's more expensive, it's almost 400 bucks. But for a school purchase, I think it's gonna be worth it. Now, I went out on a limb without having approval from my school and I went ahead and ordered it. Um, really hoping that my school pays me back and agrees to, to pay for it at this point. But uh, if they don't, I know it's still going to be a good investment. So that's the Lung Trainers, Lung Trainers, plural, lungtrainers.com. Okay, uh, check them out, see what you think, and let me know if you've ever tried it or if you think it's a good idea, bad idea, you know, leave a comment. I love comments. I'll try to respond if I can. And as soon as this thing comes in and I've had a chance to work with it with my students for a little while, I'll uh, put on a real review of it. So thank you all, everybody. This is Chad Criswell again from musicedmagic.com. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're intrigued by it. And I will uh, get back to you soon on it. Take care.